Today we are in Tuscumbia, Alabama, located in the northwest corner of Alabama, to visit the birthplace of Helen Keller. Helen Adams Keller was born on June 27, 1880, here at Ivy Green in Tuscumbia. Helen's father, Arthur Keller, was a captain in the Confederate Army and a newspaper editor. Her mother was Kate Adams Keller, Captain Keller's second and much younger wife. At the age of 19 months, Helen contracted what doctors then called brain fever. It was most likely scarlet fever. Helen survived the illness, but it left her deaf, and blind. Family urged the Kellers to place Helen in an asylum or institution, but they never did. Helen was indulged and most would say spoiled. Her uncontrolled behavior, from being unable to hear or see, had her parents seeking help from everywhere they could. It is through inventor and deaf educator Alexander Graham Bell, and also the director of Boston's Perkins School for the Blind, that Ann Sullivan enters Helen's life. Ann arrives in Tuscumbia in March 1887 and thus began a lifelong partnership with Helen Keller. Ann Sullivan was truly a miracle worker for Helen, but it wasn't without its share of battles. This is the dining room where the food fight happens. If you've seen the miracle worker, you know. It was painful for Helen's family, but Ann knew best. This is the water pump where Ann Sullivan finally had a breakthrough with Helen by spelling water in sign language in Helen's palm while pumping water on her other hand. In her book, The Story of My Life, which Helen wrote in 1903, she characterized Ivy Green and its garden as the paradise of her childhood and detailed the smells and texture of the plants, flowers, and vines.
Ann Sullivan married John Albert Macy, Helen's book editor, in 1905. She died in 1936 at age 70. Helen died in 1968 at the age of 88. She and Anne are both buried in a crypt at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C.